This is Technomancer for Zero Point Fuel. I'm running a test on a number 14 wire on the standard electro steel core. So this is uh, using the alternator uh, rotor. And what's happening here is I've got a breakout box which is giving me amps of drawing from a power supply. It's running into the motor but the positive side is running through the loop of the alternator. So it's coming into the brush and out of the brush of the alternator. That energizes the core and then back. And I want to see if that increases the amount of amperage being drawn over just a straight use. So here we go here. Let's try this. Okay, you can see the amperage draw of the motor. It's there's one amp, one amp draw, and AC's not generating a volt yet. But I'm, I'm trying to see how much I can draw through that. And so let's speed it up here. Okay, now you can see that's full 24 volts. It's making 1.2 volts out of a number 14 wire. It's drawing 2.9 amps doing it. Now, that's, that's almost an amp increase over uh, just running the PWM. It's actually less than 2 amps. So, using the alternator core is consuming about an amp. Now there's, mind you, there's only one coil on here. It's a number 14 wire. It's a pretty big coil. But that number 14 wire is making 1.2 volts. So 12, you know, you're looking at 12, 13 volts out of this thing using a number 14 wire. So with no drag. So that's kind of what we're looking at here but the problem is that this this is it's running through the core on just the positive side so it's running through in uh, series through the through the alternator core uh, windings and it's consuming energy that way so it's not being as efficient as I hoped I was hoping that this would work as it flowed through a low resistance load but because the polarity is flipping as it passes this that's what's consuming the amperage now, I'm going to verify that I'll disconnect this and we'll see if we still get the same now we're not going to get hardly any voltage here and no it's still consuming the same amperage okay so it is consuming the same amperage so now we're going to disconnect this whole rig here of energizing the poles on the rotor and just hook this up direct okay now it's hooked up direct so basically the energy is flowing through the amp meter and then directly into here and this is not being magnetized the core the rotor is not being magnetized so let's see what we got here One point eight, one point seven. So almost an amp less. So 
the core is actually using an amp of power to create the magnetic fields in the rotor. Okay, now I have it wired up like I did before. So it's flowing out of the positive, through the rotor, back out of the rotor into the negative, which is complete, or into the positive, which is completing the circuit for the PWM to drive the motor. But I have this dead shorted. I'm just using the clip to hold it together. So let's see how, if, if that's a dead short, this core should drag down this rotor on a normal generator. That's what would happen. You can see the amperage. It's not significant. You want to let it catch up. It, it'll, if you speed it too fast there, speed it up too fast, you'll draw a lot of amps. So. There it is. It's dead shorted. It's not drawing any more amperage. Any more amperage than the PWM would normally drive in that rotor. Now it's showing you one volt. The other side of the lead is not connected. It's showing that, that side of that current flowing through there. So figure that one out. So basically that's a dead short. This is 27 ohm resistor. I couldn't find a, a 1 ohm resistor. 27 ohms rated at 10 watts. We're, we're running it through the coil, through the resistor, and I'm also using the leads here to tie off on the AC. So that's adding the resistance to that loop. All right, let's give this a shot here. That's that you're reading the amperage there of the motor. Now you're getting a voltage drop because remember you have 27 ohms running of energy, but you're still getting half a half a volt across that 27 ohms, so we can get it up to one volt here. There we go, one volt. It's generating one volt while consuming 27 ohms of energy at two amps. 